Yeah, audio searching for uh, searching for audio is absolute trash in today's day and age. Like, like, like it is bad. It is really hard to find audio content. And I think the, the reason for that is because there is not a native centralized platform that is branded itself as a platform that is built for audio ideas to be to be discovered. When people are searching for things like how to lose weight they're not searching for like some, some the best nutritionist expert. They're just searching and hoping to find an answer article or video wise that's meaningful for, for, for their search query. So when I go to YouTube and I search in how to lose weight, the results I get are immediate. They're not like three hour long podcasts with some dietitian. It's just like a five minute tips video on how to start losing weight. And then you start doing more research into the content you're getting. If it's for audio, like that five minute snippet of content that is telling me just from an audio perspective, which is 99.9% .9 of the same experience of watching the person on YouTube. It's just watching them talk is meaningless, but the, what they're saying is what actually matters, the audio. There's not a platform that I've realized that is actually there effectively distributing that content. And, and going back to your point, it, that's what makes it hard to find podcasts. Because if I'm a YouTuber and I've decided I'm going to be in the gym, nutrition, health field of YouTube, then if I start making content around those keywords, like how to lose weight, which is a question of, you know, a lot of people who are overweight are typing, then that means that I might potentially pop up, even though it's a competitive niche. And that gives me the ability to become discovered, even though no one knows who I am without having to do paid advertising. I think that same approach to audio simply doesn't exist. And if we can solve that problem, I think we'll get a lot more people hopefully discovered.